So hi, I've had a couple of people ask me how I, what is this weird process in which I feed my cats? Basically, really short, I take their food, I put it in the bowl, I mash it up, I add some hot water, um, I mix it together, I add some, um, some fish oil, then I dose it out, and I feed them. Um, and now you're gonna ask me, why in the world would I go through that whole process? Well, I will tell you in just one moment, I actually have to start my water boiling, so give me just a second. Alrighty, there's that. Um, that may make weird noises in the background, don't worry about it. In addition to weird noises, the cats know it's, it's food time. Anybody who has a cat knows they know when it's time to eat, so they will make themselves known, I am sure. I haven't pulled out the fish oil yet because that's supposed to stay in the fridge. So I will probably just leave it in the fridge. Um, but really quick, while I, um, while I start the process here, one of the reasons I do this is because my one cat has no teeth. Well, he has some teeth. But he had something like 13 teeth taken out over a year ago. Um, and while he doesn't really have any trouble eating, he does take this medicine. And it's a lot easier to give him in his food. And it is a lot easier to give him in his food when, um, when it's crushed. So the first thing I do is I take the pill out of the bottle, obviously. And I take, this is a, just, um, the pestle from a mortar and pestle I have for spices. And all I really do is I crunch it up here. Just a little bit. It doesn't have to be. And then I usually do this to try and get most of the dust off. Now while that's all said and done, I'm going to stick that over here and now I'm going to put the food in the container. Um, I'm doing a double batch today, so that's why I've got two cans. This is easily done with one can. Um, you can see over here my measuring spoon. I have a half a cup, obviously. Um, you could use this with a quarter cup. Let me throw these away. So, and I feed them usually fish branded um basically whatever is on sale. Whoops, that's really loud. Um, yeah, usually, I mean, you probably wouldn't even need the measuring cup here um, because I am using a, a measuring, you know, pitcher glass thing. Um, I just like it for consistency sake. Um, I always know, you know, when I'm doing a double batch, this is the perfect size. And if you do this for your cat, and you find out, hey, you need more or less water, then go ahead and adjust the recipe. I mean, I, I find oftentimes it varies with the, um, with the, the type of cat food. Um, Friskies, as an example, doesn't generally have a lot of liquid, but some of the store brands tend to have a little bit more gravy. Uh, I assume it's probably cheaper that way. But there you go. Um, so now that I've got the food in the bowl, I take my potato masher, and this is extremely satisfying. It's kind of like when you played Play-Doh when you were 12, and I squish the food down. Um, and I do this two or three times, not a whole lot. Usually I knock some off there. And, you know, I just get it well mixed together, and then I stick it down. At this point, I have to wait until the water finishes boiling. Now you're going to say, oh my goodness, why are you putting boiling water in your cat's food won't that hurt them. By the time I add the water, mix it, and add the oil, it's totally fine. As a matter of fact, if you give me a moment, I will show you proof that it is nowhere near horrible temperatures when the water finishes boiling. I'm back. My water's finished boiling. You'll see something changed really quick, and this is just the fish oil. I just grabbed it from the, um, from the fridge. It is pretty cold. I just get this off of Amazon. So really quick, I'm going to I'm going to grab my water and I will step away for 2 seconds. All right. So here's my water, as you can see, boiling water. Pop that in there. It's always a little bit of a messy process. But it's only water and it won't hurt anybody. So stick my sp measuring spoon aside. Usually I don't squish it too much after this point. Um it doesn't really need it. <clears throat> So let me stick this aside. Usually what I do, since I'm right here in the kitchen, is I just put most of this stuff in the sink. Um, I mix this really quick just to make sure that it breaks up any additional big chunks that are in there. Um, now I'm going to screw usually two, sometimes three. Today we'll do three. One, two, three. Alrighty, there's their oil. Now you're going to be like, alright, now why do you add oil? 
Well, that's the second reason I do this process. Um, one of my other cats, wherever she is, has just she just has an upset tummy all the time, right? And so about eh, once a week she throws up. She actually gets secluded in her own special place just for that reason. So the salmon oil I found um, reduces that. Yes, honey, I'm working on it. Um, so it reduces her throwing up. And um, it helps my other cat's fur look better, the one with the no teeth. Um, and that's also why I mix it in the plates, or rather I serve it in the plates. So he always, for dinner, this is dinner time, he always gets um, the most at dinner time and very little at breakfast time, and she gets equal amounts both times. The reason for that is he doesn't eat crunchy food and she does. So really quick, so that I can prove that this is not hot at all, um, this is my little scanner, and as you can see, I hope it is 97 degrees. That is, um, water boils at like 212, I think, at least at, at my temperature. So, or rather, my elevation. So, alright, so now what I do is I do three scoops in each plate, and then I give the bowl the rest. If I didn't say it, one of the reasons I use the plates is because it slows down how fast she eats it, um, which is what my vet told me is the reason she throws up so much. So, I have tried everything under the sun. This works. So, I am not going to mess with what works. My mixture is a little bit thick. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shortchange this one just a little bit. Alright. So, let me move this one here with his meds. And I'm going to dump all the rest of it in there. He knows it's time to eat. He's like, ooh, ooh I know, I know those noises. <clears throat> and he thinks if he meows at me more, I'll somehow do it faster. I don't honestly know. So now I just usually mix it up to make sure that the medicine that's underneath is well incorporated. He loves to eat. He literally loves to eat. I think it's his favorite thing other than to sleep. So he will eat every single drop of this. And then if my other cat has food left over, he'll eat that as well. So... I'm not worried about him not getting his medicine. Now, I am not a veterinarian. I am not anything but a cat owner. And I found that this works for my cats. You're welcome to try it. If it works for your cats, that's great. Obviously, if you have concerns, run it by your vet. My vet didn't have any trouble when I mentioned this process. Um, she said, hey, whatever works. So that's what we're going with. Um, and now Alexa is reminding me to feed my cats just in case my cats forgot. <laughs> <laughs> they they function quite well as their own alarm clocks, but I do use Alexa in in the event that I am asleep or some other um, thing. So anyways, now I'm going to feed them and they'll be happy and I will wrap up the others. I stick those in the fridge and then in the morning time I just pop both plates in the, in the microwave for like 30 seconds just to get the chill off the food, feed it to them and head out to work. So um, anyways, I hope this gave you ideas for your own kids, and thank you for watching.